Hello, everybody. Okay. Oh, and also I did the female armor, so any female will have armor that looks like it belongs to them. It, it doesn't make the armor like sexy or anything. It just it shows their breasts a little bit better. So it looks like a female is actually wearing the armor. Um, yeah, that's it. So don't worry. Um, I'm a scout. You need directions to Pelagod. We need directions to Balmora. Okay. How's Hulu? All right. So she gave us directions to there. And that's all we needed. All right. She helps us out. We can also, oh, we can also ask about her background. We can get training for her. We can ask about the places, latest rumors. I heard his other tax collector is missing. No surprise, he was not really liked. Um, a little bit of five ice. A new Amora win. The natives are not very friendly. They still resent the empire and they look down on the other races. They don't like outland dumbers very much either. You aren't dumb or a native born. You're an outlander, just like the rest of us. Um, she pretty much just explained because um, a lot of people were like, oh, well, if I choose Dark Elf, they're like, no, they won't. They even said they don't even like the Dark Elves that are not from here. You need to be born here for them to like you. So the people who are from here, even though you're a Dunmer, which means Dark Elf, the blue elf guys, they'll still call you um, Outlander. And that's just, it's mostly because you're, you know, you're the hero, you're supposed to be called something. But it's so people who were Dark Elves would be like, well, I'm a Dark Elf, this game sucks. They pretty much just explain, no, they're not going to like you anyways. That was um, the developer's thinking, to be honest. And um, a little secret, how do you recognize a Daedric sign? Well, they got long, funny names, like Ashurubi, or Janitorius. Some are well-known sites, like Al Saf, a lot of Fel. And the stone architecture is unmistakable. Big, dark, gray, green stone ruins. Funny angles, funny markings and patterns on the stone. Weird overall. Hopeful crooked doors and inside all funny angles. Okay, now there's a rule that everybody knows. All rumors are cr are true. Whatever rumor there is, they can say, "Oh, there's a Bigfoot out there." There's a Bigfoot out there. It might not really be a Bigfoot. It might be like a guy that's wearing a bear costume. But there's something going on. Advice: Always listen to the advice. It's good advice. It's usually not important advice. It's usually just like people normal advice. It's usually things that developers have thought of that you probably are wondering like why is everyone calling me an outlander like that they just told you you know um little secrets you know they just tell you little secrets like secrets you know like the danger thing not many people would have known what a danger is trying to look like but she just explained it so if we ever do find a danger shine we'll be like oh well this is you know this is a danger shine morrowind um this just explains morrowind you get different types from people who like you if she likes you more she'll tell you a little bit more about morrowind um, it's the west of Skyrim, it's the southwest of Cyrodiil. Um, if she doesn't really like you too much, she'll tell you just like this much. Um, she might even say, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, sometimes they even lie. I think one time one person lied to me and pretty much just told me straight up, like, something about a place and I ran there and I got killed. Um, but I think that was a mission. And there's also, if they like you more, they'll tell you a little bit more, like I said. If they don't like you more, they won't tell you as much. Um... My trade, she'll tell you who she is. She's a scout. She'll tell you about the geography of Bardavell and you know, regions. And we're going to make this grow a little so we can see all of it. Okay. Um, see, see all, it's just a bunch of stuff. Like, here's about Pelagate services. She tells you about services here. The Silk Strider. I'm going to show you what that is. Someone in particular, she's just going to tell you about people, you know important people in this place, a specific place, she'll tell you important places, and then just stuff like that. Oh, that was some tea. Good tea. Um, you can get training from her, or you can persuade her. When you persuade her, you can give her, you can admire her, you can intimidate her, or you can taunt her, or you can give her gold. Only, you need to give her a specific amount. You can give her a hundred, people will most likely like you. If you give them a thousand, everybody's going to like you. It doesn't matter what you, if, who it is. You give them a thousand, they'll love you. If you give them ten, depends on who it is. If you give somebody a thousand, then you give them ten coins. They're kind of going to get annoyed, you know. If you taunt them, specific people will take the taunt, but most times they don't. If you intimidate them, most people will take it. Not many. If you admire them, a lot of people usually like it. Usually the opposite sex, but it doesn't always work. If you intimidate and taunt repeatedly, it sometimes ends with them saying, I'm just going to kill you. And that's a good way to get in a fight. But it's usually difficult for me. I don't know why. I think it's because it, um, I usually got my character to have a pretty decent charisma or a really strong. So nobody really wanted to attack him. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. 
So we can talk to anybody else, but I don't really want to. And don't just press your luck. Shut up. Um, I'm talking really fast because I'm super proud. She is happy. I'm really excited. This game is like one of my favorites. Like I said, I just love this game. Um, I haven't been playing. I haven't played it in a long time, so I forgot almost everything. So this is like one of those big, big things for me. Um, these are guards right here. This is um, Imperial guards. I usually like the Imperials. I'm a big Imperial fan. Um, I know a lot of lore to do with this game. You know, in all games, I know a lot of Elder Scrolls lore. I'm a big Elder Scrolls fan. My um, my name Vasa is here. It is um, it's Khajiit um, language, and it means um, one who walks under them, or uh, we who walks under them. And it means um, it usually means somebody humble, and it's my character's a really humble guy. And I think I know. I always go over here. I don't know why to have it. I think I know why right a little bit. We'll see. I think this is the way to um, Balmora. Yeah, this is the way to Balmora. So, uh, we, um... A book. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tyria. Take all. I don't know. I don't want to know if I can take all. Hold on. I'll... Yeah, he's naked. <laughs> Great. Dispose. Oh, I just like. Just, I'm going to be flagged so much. Okay, yeah. The better bodies, they're naked. Crap. Okay, I got to figure out how to fix that. Um. I don't know who that was. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I'll be able to travel great distances. Without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, we'll test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all of the possible complications. It will allow me to lay great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the sky, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flight. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all of my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll all see who's laughing at that leap on the top of the towers and scream out my success. Well, I was laughing, so I guess I got the last laugh. Okay, so we gotta move this over here and open it up. Move this over here. And okay. Move this over here. We don't need a gigantic map. So, this, oh, this is just going to be a big, long cluster. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So, this is our, st our stats and such. We have a little bit of fatigue, um, a little bit of health, and a little bit of this, and our stuff if you scroll down a little bit farther you find out what faction likes you how much reputation you have and your bounty this is our um uh oops this is our um stuff oh this is a nice hat yeah <laughs> this is gonna be our um a character and it's cool hat um you can change it for whatever you want it to be um this is the map it's really kind of important um, we're gonna get a little bit bigger. It usually tells you where you're supposed to go. You can do the world map, or you can do a small map. Uh, make this a little bit smaller, and make it... Never mind. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we need. Hmm, yeah. Okay. So, we just had a guy die, and... Oh, there's signs right there, okay. Maybe this is the way to Baltimore. I don't know. Maybe that's why we I win. I hope to God it's not why we win. Because that'd be stupid. <laughs> we went to see a guy fall. <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
What are you doing? This way is to Clark Lamar, Holagad, and Alderaan. Nope, this is not the way to Balmora. Okay, so we're gonna go, and I will see you guys later. Um, thank you for watching.